Hello, everyone. Welcome to the For Love and Nerds podcast. Today, I'm with Jack Guzman, known for Power Rangers Wild Force. Welcome, Jack. Thank you for being here. Absolutely, man. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Awesome to be here. So I want to start off by asking how you got into acting. Uh, honestly, man, it was just pure luck, brother. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, I, you know, it's funny. A lot of times when we get interviewed and stuff, you know, it's, it's a lot of people's dreams and all that, but not yeah. me, man. I, I actually wanted to be a professional football player, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, wasn't good enough. And oh. then uh, I failed one class three too many times. And then I realized, you know, maybe I, I started should, should looking at other things. And yeah. uh, just by pure luck, man, I had a buddy of mine who his mom used to work at a, at a hair salon. Okay. Mind you, I used to have hair back then. And, wow. uh, and then, you know, they came in, man, and they were asking for extras. And I yeah. didn't even know what that was. And, and I said, well, you know, what is that? I was working construction at the time. Oh, cool. And making 80 bucks a day. And yeah. these people were telling me that I could make the same amount of money, you know, being on a set. Yeah. And just eating good food, you know, hanging out with people and then yeah. walking, you know, in the back. And I was like, man, that sounds like something I'd like to do. Yeah. And then basically, brother, I started doing that in Miami. You know, I, that was my first job uh, as I, I worked on the movie called uh, The Specialist oh, with cool. uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, nice. And bro, from then the butt big, you know, the, the bug bit me, man. And I yeah. started thinking about how could I do it? How could I just wanted to be more of a part of it? And eventually I ended up moving out to California just to do background though. I, I didn't want to oh. act. Yeah. I just wanted to do background. Wow. And then, you know, little by little, I started doing auditions and stuff. And then once I booked Power Rangers, yeah, I was like, man, hold up. This is a lot nicer. They treat you better. You get paid a little better. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, Power Rangers was your third well, third role, wasn't it? Like, but it was like your first major role, wasn't it? Oh, but yeah. Till this day is my biggest role that I've done as far as a series regular. You know, I mean, I've done a yeah. lot of shows and stuff, but I, as far as me being a series regular on a show, yeah, it's it's it was the, my biggest uh, project. Oh, okay. So, what did you go for, Power Rangers, or did you get like a normal audition? No, man. It was just a normal audition. I, oh, cool. you know, just just like every other audition, I went, and uh, the only difference was to this one, we had like four or five auditions you know yeah of course yeah uh, they just keep calling you back and keep calling uh, you back yeah so by the final one it was down to me and another guy and uh they oh. said man you know we'll let you know tonight by eight o'clock and they didn't call me man so i thought i had never oh. i didn't book the part and then the next morning at six in the morning or seven in the morning i got a phone call from my agent saying yeah. hey man they need you over there you got the part you, you gotta go oh, cool <laughs> yeah man it was exciting What's it like working on the Power Rangers set? Oh, phenomenal, man. Yeah. I mean, I think at, at the time, at the time, it was just more of a job for me. You know, yeah. I didn't realize how big the fandom was and how big the series was. I mean, I yeah. knew about it and all that, but I just uh, I had no clue what a what a huge family it is, sort of say, you know? Yeah, I get you. So as far as uh, as, as time has gone on and as I, yeah. you know, it's like I tell people, look at just, th this is a perfect example. I mean, I did that show 16, 17 years ago yeah. and here we are still talking about it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't it? What's it like being re um, recognized still to this day? Uh, well, now I don't really get recognized that much, man, because oh, yeah. obviously my, my look has changed so much. Yeah, you've lost all your, obviously, hair. <laughs> yeah, all of it. <laughs> But uh, but it was awesome, man. I mean, when I was shooting the series, I lived on Hollywood, you know, it, well, yeah. in Hollywood, uh, if you're familiar with it, pretty much on Hollywood Boulevard. That's where yeah. my apartment was. Oh, cool. And dude, sometimes I would go out to have lunch or breakfast or dinner. And yeah, yeah when the series was going on, it was crazy, man. One person wow. would recognize me then. Oh, my God. Wait, who is that? And then before you knew it, man, you had a crowd. So it was yeah. a lot of fun. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, um, man, it was it was really cool. So do you still do conventions and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, man. I try and do uh, as many conventions as possible. Uh, oh, cool. The only thing is that obviously now with COVID, I yeah. haven't personally done any. Yeah. But prior to COVID, I was trying to do as many conventions as I could, man. And, and uh, some of them I know are out of the States. So I've, I've been super oh, interested. Right. I've, never, I've never done one internationally. All oh, right. Nice. I did a whole, not a whole bunch, but I did a couple here nationally, you know, and like, uh, North Carolina and, and yeah. obviously LA and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to do more. It's just that I find that conventions is kind of like a, like a high school click, you know, yeah. If, yeah, I don't if, if you're part of that series that, that does a lot of conventions, then they call you a lot. Yeah. And I think our series, you know, 
just hasn't really uh, gone together as a whole. Yeah, I don't we, mean. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely interested. And I'd always tell everybody, man, I would love to fly out to the UK or, yeah. you know, uh, Central America, South America and do more cons out there. Yeah, that'd be awesome to see you in, uh, in the UK at some point. That'd be awesome. I would love it, man. I've never <laughs> been and I've heard a lot of cool stuff about it. Yeah, well, we've had quite a few Power, Rang- Power Rangers over here, so it's always awesome. Yeah, you. man. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you still in contact with the original Wild Force cast? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I talk to them a lot, all the time, man. You know, obviously, some of them have families and kids yeah. now, so uh, it gets a little harder to, to get together. But yeah, man. I, as a matter of fact, uh, Philip and Jessica. I just talked to them not too oh, long nice. ago. And I just got together with Jessica and had lunch uh, out here in Florida. Cool. She mm-hmm. was she was out here for a little bit, so we got together. And but yeah, man. I, I try and talk to all of them. Drew also. That's awesome. Uh, you know, Allison here and there. Yeah. You know, she's kind of busy selling her her Sullivan Farms uh, oh, right, honey yeah. mushroom stud. And then obviously Ricardo. You know, I haven't. I mean, I keep in touch with him, and and I yeah. have throughout the time. But that's a little tougher. That's a that's a touchy subject. You know. Uh, yeah, I've heard that's the Red Ranger in it. I've heard things. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know you're on about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, in the world of Wild Force, do you enjoy uh-huh. doing the crossovers with like? Time for awesome or not? Yeah, man. It would have been a blast, dude. I would have, you know, I think we're the only ones that didn't have that crossover series with the new ones that were coming out. Yeah. But uh, I think it's because you obviously, they left to New Zealand and they started shooting out there. And the, when we, you know, oh. we, got, we did it when Disney bought it. Disney bought it and we were the first year when, when yeah. Disney did it. So I always say we kind of feel like the, the stepchild, you know, where they didn't really pay too much attention to us as far as yeah. doing a lot of a lot of um, commercial and, and stuff like that. But the crossover that we had, I believe it was with Time Force, the yeah. ones prior to it, that was a blast, man. Yeah. It was really cool working with all of them. And, and you know, always as a as a new a new cast in a series, it was really nice to yeah. uh, to get all their advice because they were about to be finished. So obviously they they gave us advice on, you know, yeah. how the season's going to go and all of the things that we were going to do. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, that's amazing that to hear. Yeah, it was Power cool, man. passing it on. Silvers. Exactly. Uh, would you actually ever return to the role if you could? I would love to. That's another thing. I, you know, I know that there's a lot of the other Power Rangers that have gone back and done yeah. an episode here and there. And once again, man, I would love to do it. I just yeah. think is my look is so different that I don't know if you know yeah. that that may cause a little bit of uh, you know, it's, it'd just be weird kind of seeing Danny the yeah. way that I look now. It's like, what, did he join the mob or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know because Jason David Frank's character, he used to have a ponytail, didn't he? And then he came back with Spike, yeah. So it was... The the thing with him is that guy never changes, man. He still yeah. looks like when he was 18 years old, you know? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> um, What's been your favorite Power Rangers moment? Um, Man, that's tough. <laughs> That's tough because, because uh, again, you know, it was my first big series, man. Yeah. So all of it for me was wonderful. Um, I think the the my favorite thing, man, is just the the notoriety that that my family and my, uh, you know, just everywhere that I go in the world, man. When I travel, I could tell them, oh, I was in such and such TV show yeah. or such and such movie, and people were like, okay, well, big deal. But as soon as I say I was on Power Rangers, it's like they go nuts, you know. <laughs> So that's kind of cool, you know, that I, I'm part of that family, man, and that is so well recognized yeah. around the world. It's very cool. That's awesome, man. Cool. Yeah, man. It's it's a lot of fun. So our Power Rangers, what's been your favorite career moment on anything else you've done? Um, you mean as far as what moment in the series or in my entire career? Your entire career. So not Power Rangers, but anything else you've done? Well, it's it's kind of a... I don't know. It'd be like a two or three part question, man. But uh, okay, yes. for, for example, as far as uh, being on Power Rangers, I think, uh, again, I had never taken acting classes. I had never yeah. you know, wanted to be an actor and any of that. So I think the moment that I saw myself on the series and being able to get the dialogue down and yeah. act and, and be a part of it like a professional, that was yeah. for me a personal achievement in the sense where I, you know, I said, man, I'm able to do this. I, I yeah. can hang and I can do this. So that was a big moment as far as that goes. Then um, another big moment for me was a movie that I did. Uh, it was called End of the Spear. 
And I went to a Panama for four months to shoot that. Okay. And cool. that, that was a phenomenal experience as far as uh, oh, nice. just, you know, the impact that it had on, on, again, me as an actor and, and yeah. the people that I worked with and, and as far as that movie in, in the Christian world, sort of say, it's, yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. well known. It's, it's, you know, they've shown it in a whole bunch of churches. So a lot of people actually, oh, it's cool. harder again to recognize me from that because I play an Indian and I wear a wig and all that. Oh, uh, okay. But people do come up to me and they're like, man, I saw that movie, man, and it was amazing. You know, it's, it has yeah. to deal with uh, some missionaries that, that went to Ecuador and, oh, cool. and they, they died, obviously. The, yeah. the Indians killed them and all of that. So... That was another cool movie. Awesome. And then just as, as far as another moment where I can say it was uh, phenomenal was when yeah. I did, it, my part uh, wasn't ever shot and it got, com the scene got completely cut. Yeah. But um, I worked with uh, Brad Pitt on Moneyball. Oh, cool. And man, that was an experience to where like, I, I understood like, wow, I yeah. see why the guy is a mega star. You know, it's like, here I am a grown man and I just him passing by me and I felt like a three-year-old little girl, you know? <laughs> so it, it was impactful. So those were like three moments that I think stick out, you know, yeah. and also when I worked with Halle Berry. Oh, when did uh, you do that? Uh, it was, it was a, a series that she had uh, oh. extent. I think it was called or something like that. Oh, nice. Cool. And, you know, and there, I mean, I'm holding her hand and just yeah. being with her and acting with her. And that was pretty surreal, too. Yeah. Man. When, when I can imagine grabbed so. my hand. I was like, man, that's how it's been. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know so, you yeah, man, it was a lot of fun, man. Those were some moments that I, you know, right now obviously yeah. stick out in my mind. That's awesome. It's cool to be able to recognize your own favorite moments for your career. It's awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's right. Cool. So as an act, well, do you see yourself more as an actor now? Like, as a, if you get what I'm saying, like, you, you know, you said you're more of a background person. Do you see uh -huh. yourself more of a bigger actor now to this day? Um, I, I think it, for me, at least, it's always a learning process. I'm yeah. constantly learning. Uh, I always tell people, I think for me, the hardest thing is memorizing my lines. Oh, okay, right. You know, there's people that can look something over and they memorize it in two seconds. For yeah. me, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. That to me, it actually the acting is not that hard once I know my lines. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think it's it's just a process where I, I always learn. I always pick up little. I call it my little toolkit. You know, as far yeah. as uh, sometimes at a, I'm at a red light, man, and I watch a, a homeless person or a crazy person, and and they yeah. do certain things, and and I'll pick up on certain little things that they do, and I go, man, that's interesting. If I ever had to play a role where kind of like that. You know, yeah. so I put those little things in my toolbox, sort of say. Oh, cool. And um, and yeah, I've learned, you know, that that teaches me a lot as far as, as as acting. I know people would say, you know, acting classes are great and all of that. But for yeah. me personally, I, I don't know, man. I I, I I guess I just haven't found the correct the right yeah. ones, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Though. You're learning your yeah, own way, man. don't you? So exactly. And, yeah. and also, you know, like for Power Rangers, I that was a huge moment in the sense of uh I had come from being an athlete, so I always thought, oh, you know, you got to look cool. I can't yeah. be dorky or whatever. And I remember in Power Rangers, there was a scene where I had to do something and I had to, you know, be sort of, uh, I think I was grabbing like a banana from, oh, from the, yeah. the Yellow Ranger and I had to be like, wow. And so the first <laughs> time I was like, wow. And they were like, no, Jack, we need it more. And I was like, wow. And they were like, no, Jack, more. And I got upset and I was like, what, do you want it to be like, wow? And then they were like, yes, that's it, that's it. So sort of like I learned to put my guard down and understand that when you're when you're working as an actor, it's everything goes out the window and there's yeah. no, oh, no like, oh, you look stupid or you look silly. There's none of that. It's a play world and, and yeah. you got to give all in. If not, you know, then it won't work. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on Power Rangers... Do you do the fight scenes? We did some of the fight scenes, yeah. but a very, very minimal. And obviously there's some actors that prefer to do more because obviously they're trained in martial arts and all of that. Oh, okay. But uh, the easiest way to explain it, man, is anytime you see us in the helmets, it's not us, you know? Yeah, because I heard, is it another show where that does all the fighting? Yeah, there's a, the, the Japanese yeah. stunt team. They're the ones who do all the fighting and, you know, they're oh. the ones who costume. And then they they match up the the Japanese footage with yeah. our footage. Oh, so, yeah, cool. yeah. So basically, uh, 
kind of to to give you an example it's like if we were here and we you know my stunt double came and fought and did then he would stand here yeah. like this and they would say freeze so yeah. then he would freeze like that and then i would come in and i would put my hand sort of where his oh. is my, and then we, from here we'd go action <sighs> You know, ah, they, right. they match, yeah. so they match they match all the footage from their oh, fighting. Cool. But yeah, but, it also has to do with the fact that uh, you know, in case one of us got hurt, it's kind of hard to replace us when you can, you know, whereas oh, someone okay. inside the suit, yeah, if they got hurt, unfortunately, you can put another stunt guy in it, you know. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So yeah, that that was a, a big reason why too they didn't want us, even if we wanted to, they yeah. didn't really allow us to do our, our stunts. So on the stunts thing, you know, if you did, you know how sometimes you'd fight and you didn't have your costumes on. Was that your stunt doubles yeah. as well? Um, yeah. Anytime that you don't see our faces, it's them. Oh, so right. Okay, right. So if we were in costume but yeah. without a helmet, then it was us. Oh, okay, right, okay. Yeah, but anytime that that you see the helmet, it's yeah. them. It's never us. Did you ever wear the costume though? Yeah, I, I think it, the entire forty-four episodes we wore it maybe three times. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, still cool. Though, yeah, man, a, <laughs> a lot of people think we wore those every day and never, man. We, I'm telling you, we wore those costumes maybe three times in our entire series, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's still so, cool, though, isn't it? It's, can't do it was cool. Yeah, yeah. It was nice. I mean, now I probably couldn't fit into it, but yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know? Oh, well, they'll just make the suit bigger. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A lot bigger, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the helmets, too. Uh, you know, when we wore the helmets, at least, yeah. it was super hot and it's it gets foggy in there. So, oh, I, really? man, I, yeah, I really commend those guys, man, because what they did inside those costumes and the way they fought, yeah. it was it truly is amazing. Yeah, I can imagine it being like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, going forward in your career, what's some of your future goals, hopes? Yeah. Man, going forward, to be 100% honest with you, I just, I always say, man, if I can continue to act, man, until I'm in my 70s or 60s yeah. or 80s, that would be a dream come true. You yeah. know, if I could continue to do this for the rest of my life, I'd be the happiest guy in the world because I don't, I don't mind, you know, there's a lot of people that'll say, oh, I want to be a series regular again, or I want to yeah. be, you know, the next Brad Pitt or what? No, to me, man, I'm a little more realistic. I'm, I've had a great yeah. career. I, I do a lot of small parts and, but I have no problem doing that. That to me, yeah, you know, cool. the fact that I can make a living being an actor, that's just phenomenal, man. I think <laughs> we, you know, we have so much fun when we work, we get paid well when we work. Yeah. The catch is, you know, that there's not work all the time. So yeah. for me, that would be my goal. My goal would be to be able to just continue to act until, until I can anymore, you know, I, cool. I would be completely happy with that. Yeah, that's really cool. That good to hear. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to do outside of acting, or is acting your main focus? Um, I, I would think, yeah, as far as work and all of that, acting is yeah. my main focus. But um, outside of that, not. I think I just now recently, man, I moved to Florida from Los oh, cool. Angeles, and uh, I think my, you know, I had been in Los Angeles for about twenty years. Oh, okay, acting. cool. So for me, I think uh, one of my focuses was to to come in back home, sort of say, and spend time with my family. And I've, oh. I'm, you know, the old, the older I'm getting, the more I understand how important yeah. that is, and and that we're not around forever, you know. Yeah, I hundred percent get that. It's so yeah. it, the to be able to spend time with my family now and uh, and fly out and continue to work. Yeah, uh, I'm in heaven, brother. If I if yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I agree with hundred percent. So I asked earlier about um, your favorite career moment. You might have answered this, but what's your biggest accomplishment in your life, you'd say? Uh, man, my biggest accomplishment, I think, is to be able to say that I'm a working actor, you know? Yeah. I think uh, millions and millions of actors go out to Los Angeles, New York, uh, and try and do what we've done. And, and unfortunately, they can't, you know? Yeah. They have to have three other jobs, or some of them have to come back home and, and never do anything again. And Yeah. So for me, man, I feel, you know, I always relate it to athletics. I, I always say, for example, I'm, I'm that, uh, I don't know what sport you follow, but football. soccer, <laughs> football, American well, football. Soft, no, so, so, sorry, soccer. soccer, yeah. Okay, perfect. So to, to take that as an example, I yeah. always compare it to, I'm the guy that's on the bench all the way at the end of the bench yeah. that nobody really knows, but I'm on the team. 
You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's how I think of it. Uh, my, oh, cool. uh, you know, at least my career. I'm. It's. I've never been a superstar or or I'm not a celebrity or anything like that. But I can make a living doing what yeah. I'm doing, and and I'm you know so I'm on the team. Yeah. Well, I mean, to many people, you're a superstar in the Power Rangers universe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, no, it, you're right. As far as you, you guys and that fandom, it's, yeah. it's phenomenal. You guys do make me feel like a less, like a celebrity every time yeah. I go, you know, to these conventions and stuff like that, man. It's it's really fun. Yeah, well, I would just say this because you're on, but Power Rangers Wild Force was one of my favorite Power oh, Rangers shows great, as well. Man. So it's very cool, brother. It's amazing because obviously that was 2002, 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like six when I watched it. So. <laughs> <laughs> God, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, man. How old are you now? 23. Okay, yeah. yeah imagine how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was uh, I was 25 years old. Or sorry, I'm lying. I was 27 years old playing an 18-year-old kid, man. Wait, you're, eight, you're 18 in that? <laughs> yeah, I was sure, I was uh, 27 years old when I did Power Rangers. That's why you look so old. Well, no, I'm right? saying old. <laughs> <laughs> I was mean, the 18 year old. Oh wow. man, now you're killing me, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I, um, if there was any other Power Rangers series you'd want to be in, which one would you want to be in? If you still followed it to this day, uh, I really haven't. I've never oh. seen any other series. But if I had another choice of being in another one, I would yeah. want to be in the first one, the originals. You know? Yeah, Mighty Morphin. Yeah. Mighty Morphin, because that's the one that broke out and that's the one that had all, you know, they were the real famous ones yeah. and they they paved the way for all of us. So if I had another choice of doing yeah. another one on that one, but I haven't really seen any of the other series or anything yeah. like that. And plus, I'm biased. So I, I really <laughs> like Wild Force. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> um, have you got anything else in the works at the moment? I know it's hard, uh, obviously, right. but... Right now, man, I'm just going, I'm auditioning, obviously, to, yeah. you know, to be on other shows and stuff. But as far as uh, the things that I'm, that I might be back on is yeah. uh, I'm on the second season of Black Monday with Don Cheadle. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, it's on Showtime. And uh, if they come back for a third season, I, I might come back for that because I play, uh, you know, I played a, a, like a Colombian drug lord. And oh, then nice. I, I turn out to be an undercover FBI agent. Oh, so, cool. nice. They might bring me back for that. And then just recently, I worked on a show, a Disney show called Big Shot with um, oh. John Stamos. Yeah. That's on Disney Plus. Nice. And I play a referee on there, and they're trying to bring me back on the show. So if they bring me back then for the next season, then those are the only two projects. But besides that, just yeah. back to auditioning, man. You know, always on the on the search for the next next job. That's cool. Nice one. Good to hear. Yeah. Um. I've only got a few more questions to ask, but so what's been your favorite role to play in your career? <laughs> That's kind of hard to ask because it's a wild force, isn't uh, it? <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because I if I really tell people about my career, I'm always either arresting or I'm getting arrested. You know, one of the two. <laughs> yeah. I play a lot of cops, uh, firemen, stuff like that, or I play a lot of gangsters and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Um, to me, man, it's it's a blast to play the bad guy. I, I really enjoy that, yeah. you know? So those roles are really fun. But again, if I had to say, like, man, probably one of my favorite, favorite roles that I've ever done was that movie, that end of the spear where I played an Indian, you know, because oh, cool. yeah. it was just such a stretch. It was something yeah. that uh, that I there's really no way of uh, describing it. Uh, and I actually got to meet the original Indians that we were portraying. Oh, and, awesome. you know, those, those guys are they live in the Amazon. So. Yeah you know, the way they lived. And I spent two weeks with them out in the jungle training, you know, how to, how to throw a spear and how to hunt and how to do all that. So that role nice. was really awesome. It That's was a awesome. blast. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've done a couple of voice uh, over roles, haven't you in the past? Um, would you want to do some more of them in the future? I would love to, I would love to yeah. do more voiceover stuff. I just find that it's uh, it's really hard to get into. It's a, it's a small, click of people oh. that work you know and then once you start working then you work a lot oh, okay and right. um, i haven't i mean i've done a couple you know here and there yeah. but I, it's never really been my bread and butter for me uh oh, tv okay. is, is what i do mostly you know yeah um do you ever want to would you ever want to produce any of your own material like do you like write your own stuff or 
Uh, no, you know, that's one thing about me. I've, I'm not interested in producing or directing okay. or any of that. I'm, I just love acting. That's yeah. all I want to do. And, uh, and plus, man, I think it takes a lot of money to be, to produce yeah. and do that kind of stuff. So if I had a chance, I maybe collaborate with someone, Yeah. but I'm not one of those people that says, Oh man, I have this project that I would love to do, or I'm writing or yeah. you know, I, I just, I'm just, I, I like acting, bro. That's it. That's cool. That's, that's just, not everyone's the same. Not everyone does it, Billy. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I asked this, but what's your dream role? Did I ask you that? No. Uh, so what's your dream role? role? Yeah. My dream role, man, would probably be. Uh, you know, have you ever heard of a show called Chicago Fire? Oh, my mom watches it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That either that, or, you know, being a fireman on on TV would be oh, phenomenal. Cool. Because I, I have cousins that do it, but I just I'm terrified of heights. So yeah, it's so. nice, you know, at that moment to be able to say, "Cut, put the double in, and let's go." You know? Yeah, I'm not good at that. Um, so, so either that. Or I always say I would love to play a, a cop, like an undercover cop, but in jeans and a T-shirt. Oh, cool. Because right, yeah. I hate wearing that uniform, man. Yeah. Every time I play a cop and, you know, that belt and all that, I, I it sucks. It, I yeah. really hate it. <laughs> so if I could play an undercover cop when just jeans and a shirt, that would be an ideal role. And, you know, kind of like the Chicago PD also. Those yeah. guys that are, you know, they're, they're kind of bad cops, sort of. Yeah. So those are that would be an ideal role for me. I think it, it would be a lot of fun. Nice. That's cool too. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I've probably asked you about everything I want to. So Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on today. Absolutely, man. Yeah. The, you know, do any other time, brother, reach out and, and let me know, man, if you ever uh, have any other questions or anything like that. And thank you, man. It's been yeah. been really cool being a part of it. And and once again, man, I appreciate your your support and yeah. you know everything that you guys do for us, man. You keep us going. I appreciate you coming on here and been amazing on wild force and just it's amazing to see you so it's amazing it's, it's cool thank you brother <laughs> thank you very much man yeah i, I guess your your six year your six year old child inside is, is stoked huh i love power rangers <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's um, really cool man yeah because your, yours was the first season i actually technically watched okay because i was obviously a bit young for like time force and light speed rescue and stuff so yeah then which what? one is your favorite Wild Force? It's either that or Time Force. Time Force too. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're pretty popular. Yeah. So, yeah. I appreciate it again. So, yeah, we'll catch up in the future. So You got it, brother. Anytime, yeah. man. Thanks for reaching out. It's yeah, been a pleasure. Too. See you later. All right, brother. Have Take a good day. care.